So as you guys may have heard about the Trump and President Putin meeting, the liberal left propaganda machines are absolutely going haywire over this, saying that Trump is treasonous and he should be impeached and yada 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 all the same old bullcrap they've been saying for two years. So in this video, I am going to go into detail of what happened, what was talked about, and what bunched up half the panties at CNN, MSNBC, the BBC, and other fake news outlets. Now this article is coming from the BBC, and it is titled, Trump Sides with Russia Against FBI at Helsinki Summit. And the article goes on to say, after face-to-face -face talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Mr. Trump contradicted U.S. intelligence agencies and said there had been no reason for Russia to meddle in the vote. Mr. Putin reiterated that Russia had never interfered in U.S. affairs. At a news conference after the summit, President Trump was asked if he believed his own intelligence agencies or the Russian president when it came to allegations of meddling in the election. Quote, President Putin says it's not Russia. I don't see any reason why it would be, President Trump replied. U.S. intelligence agency concluded in 2016 that Russia was behind an effort to tip the scale of the U.S. election against Hillary Clinton with a state-authorized campaign of cyber attacks and fake news stories planted on social media. And I agree with President Trump and Putin. You see, the whole scandal of the Russian interference, the Russian claims, came about as WikiLeaks was dropping bombs on the Hillary Clinton campaign, and the Clinton campaign and the Democrats, the DNC, needed a scapegoat as to why all this information was being leaked in the first place. And that was the evil boogeyman of Russia. Russia hacked DNC servers. Russia was behind the WikiLeaks leaks. And even though the claims of that was coming directly from the Clinton campaign, sites like CNN, MSNBC, and other fake news outlets picked up this story and ran with it. So much so that it caused an investigation, the Mueller investigation, to open up. And even now, two years later, Robert Mueller has found nothing on Donald Trump. Absolutely nothing. And he was so desperate that he arrested Trump's ex-lawyer or something like that. Because the claims of the Russian interference is not true. I side with Trump on this. The U.S. agencies, or the U.S. intelligence agencies, are full of crap. Russia had nothing to do with the 2016 election. And why would we believe the FBI and CIA in the first place? These are the same people that told us that Saddam Hussein had weapons, that Osama bin Laden had been killed by Obama even though he was dead before, and it has been proven senior officials in the FBI and CIA were conducting with the Hillary Clinton campaign, which is why Robert Mueller is refusing to release text messages of FBI agents because he knows that a lot of them were anti-Trump. So why would Trump believe the people in these agencies when many of them have an axe to grind with his administration and who many of them were in favor of Hillary Clinton in the first place? And we know by various WikiLeaks leaks that the whole Russian claim had no legs whatsoever and it was specifically designed as a scapegoat so that Hillary Clinton can get away scot-free with her various corruption. So that they could blame the Russians for the hacking, the leaks, and everything else that happened to poor old Hillary Clinton. That is where the whole Russian narrative came from. That is where it is born. But yet, two years later, people have forgotten that. People have forgotten where this whole Russian thing came from. And then you have fake news article sites like CNN, MSNBC, the BBC, and others claiming that Trump is committing treason because he is on the side of Putin when Putin says, we had nothing to do with your U.S. election. And Trump agrees with him. Yeah, these United States intelligence agencies are so biased against Trump that you can smell it in the air. And don't you think for a second that if Trump was really dirty of the whole Russian narrative that the Russian and Putin's helped Trump get in office, wouldn't you think Robert Mueller would have found something on him after two years of investigation? 
it is either Robert Mueller is incompetent or that there is nothing there. Because if he even had a hint, a small piece of paper, a note on somebody's desk that relates to anything that Trump was related in the Russian scandal, don't you think he would have came out by now? And the reason why he hasn't is because they don't have anything. So that is why everybody and their mother is getting all pissy-wissy about Trump. You have even celebrities weighing in on this garbage. President Trump and President Putin are right. The Russian state had absolutely nothing to do with the interference of the United States election because there was no interference. There was no mass hacking. There was no bots. And this is another thing that the legacy media is claiming. First, they were talking about how the Russian hacked into the DNC servers and was leaking things about the Clinton campaign. That was their first scapegoat. And now they're claiming that the Russian had cyber attacks and was posting, basically shit posting on memes on social media accounts. That that is what they're saying now. And then you have the legacy media hyping about the Russians who were bought buying like ad space on Facebook and how that swing the election in Trump's favor. And first of all, nobody uses Facebook. Facebook is irrelevant at this point. Maybe people saw the ad and maybe, just maybe, it swung one voter in Trump's direction. Just maybe one or two voters. Maybe if they saw the ads. Maybe if they clicked on the ads. But then that doesn't add up either because there are various reports saying that Facebook was censoring conservative ads during the election. So the whole claims don't really have any legs. So I support Trump and I support President Putin when he says that the Russians had nothing to do with your election. And I agree with them. Yeah, Russians had nothing to do with President Trump being elected. And another thing that the legacy media is hyping about is that President Trump, I mean, President Putin said that he wanted Trump to be president. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? So Putin likes Trump better than Hillary. And that is a reason to believe that the whole Russian state was involved in hacking the United States election. Yeah, bull crap. You see, President Trump was in favor of Brexit. Did that mean that he hacked the United Kingdom's voting base and he hacked them to make Brexit happen? No, he was in favor of Brexit. President, I mean, President Putin is in favor of President Trump. That does not mean that he hacked the election. And you have various celebrities, politicians, and stuff like that calling Trump treasonous for this. Treason to not believe your own U.S. agencies, intelligence agencies. No, it's not treason. Because these U.S. intelligence firms was proven to be biased towards Hillary Clinton and the DNC leadership. But then if we go back to the BBC article that I read off in the beginning, the article stated that the U.S. intelligence agencies concluded that the 2016 election was indeed hacked by the Russians from cyber attacks and buying ads on social media. And I say, well, where is the proof? Oh, well, that's classified, they said. And I say, well, screw you then. Because that is what they said about the Iraq war and where the location of these nuclear weapons were hidden. And yet they said it was classified. We cannot tell the public. And then years later, it turned out to be false. So I say, where is the proof of the Russian hacking of the 2016 election? If they say it's classified, I have no faith in them that they're telling the truth. Because like I said before, the truth does not fear prosecution. And this is another note of why Trump is not guilty, because Trump is giving away everything. His phone logs, his email logs, his whereabouts from the last 10 years, basically has given everything to Robert Mueller and his stupid investigation. And yet nothing has been found. Or they say that it's classified. Well, I want to see proof before I turn on Trump and say, yes, the Russians hacked the U.S. election. Until then, I agree with him. The Russians had nothing to do with it. And another reason why places like the BBC and CNN are freaking out and calling Trump, you know, treasonous is that Trump treated saying in his first question from the American reporter was pressed to explain why earlier in the day he tweeted out that the United States was to blame for the current tense state of the U.S. relations. I mean, the U.S. relations with Russia. And again, Trump would be right because it is these news reporters, these fake news outlets that are to keep spinning this Russian hack narrative on the Russians, pushing Trump to sanction them for absolutely nothing. So yeah, I agree with him. It is the fault of these fake news outlets, the Clinton campaign, for the tense state between Russia and America. 
because you have the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, and all their pawns like CNN, MSNBC, and BBC literally pointing their guns at Russia and just pulling that trigger back. And then over time, the Russians and Putin got sick of it. So they started giving Trump more of a hard time. And then that has resulted in the tense state between the two superpowers. And like I said in previous videos, Trump has no value in trying to please these people. Because he's damned if he does and he's damned if he doesn't. Because he condemns Russia about something, the fake news media will still call him a bigot, will still say he's a pawn of Russia. And then if he goes and meets with Putin, oh, we see we told you he's a puppet. He is bought up by the Russians. So there's nothing that President Trump can do that'll win these people over. And in my opinion, he shouldn't even try. Let the fake news outlets like CNN, MSNBC, the BBC, let them die off. Let their news circulation continue to decrease time and time again. I think I read a report last month that CNN's audience has dropped even lower down to where it previously was. So they dropped 30% in just one month of their viewerships, of their subscribers, or whatever you want to call it. Why? Because CNN is fake. MSNBC is fake. The BBC is fake. The New York Times is fake. All these news outlets, quote unquote, journalistic integrity sites are full of crap. So I agree with Trump. The Russians had nothing to do with the interference. It was just a scapegoat brought on by the DNC and the Clinton campaign in order to reflect the questions about their various corruption. And it's not treasonous for Trump to call out the U.S. intelligence and say that they're liars or that they are full of crap because a lot of them are. But that being all said, you guys let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Peace out, guys.